My name is Dave DeJato and um, I'm going to show you how to create a simple chat room using Node.js and Socket.io. Um, Node.js is a open source cross platform runtime environment for developing server side web application. Um, Node.js applications are written in JavaScript and can be run within the Node.js runtime on Windows, Linux, um, or OS X, and things of that nature. Alright, so let me just show you a um, brief uh, example of how my chat works um, using Node.js. I'm going to start my server on um, node through the command prompt. Okay. I'm going to enter the command node app.js to start. Um, the socket.io. Okay. You can see it working here. Alright, so um, I'm going to submit a username. I'm going to submit another username. These are two separate browsers you have. And here you can see that um, there's Arnold and that's Ken. I ran into, well, one of the difficulties um, that I ran into when I was coding it was. Um, getting my username to show on the actual uh, chat box and um, right now it's just an undefined but you know it still communicates between two different um, windows so you say okay. oh well never mind now we're good on that sometimes it's undefined and sometimes it Now I can put a uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So that's just an example of my brief um messenger that I made so now let's go ahead and um, look at the back end of the messenger All right. as you can see let's go ahead and go to notepad plus plus alrighty so the first thing I did was uh, on the um, client side of things I went ahead and um, created uh, the title which is AJ chat um, I made the height for the chat and um, did a content route um, content wrap you know for the display and um, I also uh, had the chat wrap uh, floating to the left um, with a border of one pixel um, here this is where I design how the uh, messenger looks um, I just have a basic you know Div called Conrap, and I then enter username as there, and then um, I pick the size as well of it. And uh, if we go down here, I created a, a form to send the message. Um, I create, um, controlled the size, and um, also had a uh, submit um, button put in as well. Um, this is a uh, code that uh, is given from Socket.io themselves that um, I just got right off the uh, website. You know, it makes it easier to work within uh, JavaScript. 
Okay, here we have um, um, JavaScript um, using a jQuery function. Um, if we come down here, you can see that, well, this is where I define all of my variables. And then, well, in, in instantiated my variables. And then here, um, I attach the event handler for user form whenever a user submits it. So, um, this is my event handler. And then I have a um, checking loop, well, an if loop, um, to check to see if the username is valid. And then if the username is not valid, then we're gonna have them send. We're gonna. I'm gonna send them an error message saying I'm username has already taken. All right. Okay, and that's the gist of really my. Um, this is what I would my index.html file and what I call the client side. This is what all of this is. This is what the client sees. And now in my. Um, app.js file this is what I call the server side um, this is where I'm going to um, start my server I start my server here and then I am asking socket.io to listen um, for any incoming request um, here I create an array um, to store the username and um, it also helps with um, displaying the list of all the clients and this is my port. Um, I put I, I stated for the server to um, listen for port um, three zero zero zero. But you can use any port. Um, this is just the port that I decided to use. All right. So here, um, the socket just uh, you know connects to the server. Um, and if the index of whatever a user is entered is not equal to a uh, negative one, then um, we continue because well, we continue because it's in the array. So basically, to explain that, they're saying like if um, the username that they entered is not in the array, then we're going to add it. If it is in the array, then it's going to be a uh, we're, we're not going to add it and then we update the names as well just to let all the clients know the new users that are inside of the um, are inside of the chat all right okay so um, I'm just going to show you what node does as I'm typing and if you could see from my command prompt, if I um, say uh, cool or something, I don't know. Node is actually going to um, show that I had um, a new message that was put into the uh, uh, messenger, and then it displays the message as well here, as you can see there. And then on this side, it does the same thing. says it again um, new message is hello and then you know it also puts who sent the message and then up there from Arnold it said who sent the message as well okay this is the uh, actual well yeah this is the document from the socket.io site themselves that I put into my program. Now I'm just going to talk about briefly um, the companies that use Node.js are um, like Netflix, New York Times, um, PayPal, um, LinkedIn. You know, there's um, it's very uh, it's it's gaining a lot of popularity in the business because of its open source and, and um, it's very great for uh, JavaScript and um, using with the PHP and uh, things of that nature. Okay, so that's my uh, that's how I created the um, chat messenger in Node and um, thank you.